On the shtick we have with us, Shaika Sneer, who is involved in the um, Aboriginal art exhibition that I went to see the other night um, by Lynn Otis. Hi, Shaika. Hi, how are you? Good. Tell us a bit about Lynn Otis. He was born in uh, 1947 and he was half Aboriginal and half Scottish. His father, Bill Onis, was, um, was a big activist. He was part of uh, the 67 referendum. Lynn was a very devoted activist to the Aboriginal goal and uh, a wonderful artist. He was actually the first urban Aboriginal artist. As a youngster, he started in his father's studio in Upway or Belgrave. They had a shop and he decorated boomerangs and other works of art for tourists. And then he started to, uh, to paint himself. He was self-taught. When they asked him, which school are you part of? So he said, from the Balbert School. This was his uh, idea, to pinch from everybody else, to make it his, and then to give his shtick to the Aboriginal art world. And he was a pioneer in this field. I met Lynn in 1989. I was a master printer in a place called Paul Jackson Press Australia. Lynn came, he was an artist in resident in Japan prior to that, and he brought with him a sketch for a print that we did, which was called Koi on Senkien, and we did this print. And that was the one with the fish in it. That's right, the two fish, that mm. one is coming to the area and one is so leaving. he adapted the Japanese, because exactly. I know that particular that's right. Japanese that's right, yes. image. That's right. And so, he adapted it to an Aboriginal form. Yes. All the background is an Aboriginal pattern. Mm. 1994, we did a print called Gunyana Bilda. We start to talk and he said that he likes the idea of collaboration with artists. So I showed him a few, uh, few things that I did that he liked. And um, we start to do this collaboration work during lunch breaks and other breaks that we took. And um, we did this beautiful exhibition and it was lying in my, at home till uh, Claude. Claude is the owner of... Claude Allen and High on Art. That's right, High on Art. That's where the exhibition is. Um... It's on currently until June the 20-something? The, the June the 17th. 17th. And this is in uh, 916 High Street. In Armadale. Armadale. So tell me about the pebbles. I just wanted to ask you that, yes. the, the Jewish Aboriginal connection there. These pebbles, for me as a Jew, it was very important because pebbles is an idea of the circle of life and death and every time Commemoration. We, commemoration, that's mm. right. I know that for Lin, he liked the whole idea of the pebbles as an idea of the commemoration. Mm. And in specific, the place that we, we worked on, that it was in our mind, it's a place in Western Australia that it's called Mistake Creek. And this was during the time of the Holocaust. I'm not sure exactly when. And there was a terrible massacre. Nobody knows how many people. Lynn had to do a major painting for this exhibition, but he passed away prior to that. But when we did, uh, we print one of the prints, there was a print with the turtle in Projection Press. Mm -hmm. This was in 1996. So the background there, there are pebbles. And we took it and we, we uh, printed, uh, let's say in few of them, there is a, a rectangular, a black rectangular on top of the pebbles, which is an homage to uh, this plaque that is in Mistake Creek. This plaque says, in memory of our ancestors who were shot and burned here, rest in peace, Mistake Creek. Mm. So the whole idea is somehow reflect my thoughts about the Jewish Holocaust and Liz Lin thoughts about his part of uh, his people. Well, thanks very much for your time, You're Shaker. most welcome. It's a very interesting exhibition that uh, I think everyone should get along to, see the work of Lynn Otis and, of course, of Shaker. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you.